Yo, what's good everybody and welcome back to another video. Um, if you're new here, please hit the like button and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. Especially since I'm only just starting out. But as you could probably see by the title, I'm going to be answering your questions or questions that I get asked a lot about my condition. So hopefully it's helpful and without further ado, let's get on with it. Hi guys, sorry that I look a little bit weird right now. I'm having a little bit of a um, break today because my health is starting to flare up again. But I just want to add in that I did have a bit of brain fog the day that I videoed this. So sorry that I was staring off to space and going um all the time. It was just because I was trying to think of the right words to say because I really didn't want to mess it up. So I have tried to edit out all of the bad parts that I'm just like staring off to space for ages. Um, but I think it is very important just to show you guys what it's actually like when you have trouble thinking. So yeah thank you what makes you faint well i actually have two different conditions um both causing the same thing if that makes sense um and they both sit under the dysautonomia bracket and that's basically when the nervous system in your body dysfunctions so it makes it that your brain isn't quite receiving the right messages and isn't sending the right messages. So this can interfere with your like heart rate and your breathing, stomach issues, you know, anything like that. And so I have two of those. One of them is called POTS, which stands for Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. So what that means is when I go from laying to standing or sitting to standing, Anything that changes my posture in a way that I go upright um, causes my brain to think that I'm doing a lot more than I actually am. So it increases my heart rate a lot more than it actually needs to. So I think the highest it's been is like 200 and something. I can't really remember. It all just happened so fast. And that's just from like standing up so that's my first condition my second condition is inappropriate sinus tachycardia ist now a lot of people who have this condition um have a very fast resting rate which mine can be quite low it can be in the 30s or the 40s so i'm not really under that category but the reason why I got diagnosed with it is that um, if I laugh, if I cough, um, if I even move my arm, my heart rate speeds up a lot more than it should. So, oh, and emotions can interfere with it. Even if I sneeze, just anything like that that are really small things my heart rate raises a lot more than it should. It's kind of like POTS in that aspect that my heart rate um, isn't really controlled properly by my brain. Because I'm not getting the blood that I need to my head, which contains oxygen, which is very important, um, my brain shuts down all of the non-vital stuff. And so it kind of you know, makes me unconscious so that I don't use any more energy than I need to until it can get my heart rate under control so that is why i faint sorry if that didn't make sense <laughs> next one does it hurt when you faint so the actual like process of fainting doesn't hurt um it's only if you like graze your arm or you hit your head or you get an injury from it then it's painful when you wake up you don't feel it while you're fainting, though. <laughs> or at least that's what I find. Um, so no, it, it shouldn't hurt when you faint unless you injure yourself. Um, can you hear anything when you faint? Personally, I lose all of my senses right before I'm about to faint. Um, and then, like, when I'm out to it, you know, when I'm on the ground, and I'm not responding, um, 
I'm not actually there so I can't remember anything that has happened while I'm out to it. It's kind of like a really really deep sleep that people can't wake you up from. Like you can't remember anything. It's like you've teleported, you know? Yeah, I hope that made sense. Um, how often does this happen? Up to 24 times a day. But I do have some very rare days that I won't pass out and they are amazing. Like, I have to wait until late afternoon. Um, and if I haven't fainted at all that day, I can go down to skating because um, it means that I'm less likely to pass out while I'm on my skates. So I do faint up to 24 times a day, but that's not every day. Yep. Have you or would you get a service dog? So this is definitely something that I'm looking into. Um, mainly because I don't always get these warning signs fast enough for me to sit down and get ready for it, basically. So, I am definitely looking into this. If I can't get the medication that I need, um, then I will be getting one. The reason why I may not be able to get the medication is that Pharmac has so many different types of medications that can help so many people um, but because my medication is needed by less people um, they're a little bit more should we or shouldn't we put this on the market and fund people for it so I have to be worse than the last person who got put on it which I think is kind of sad um, but yeah do you feel tired 24-7? Yeah, I do. And I blame this on the fast heart rate. Um, so obviously if you go for a jog or something, one of the reasons why you're really tired afterwards is because your heart rate has been so fast during those moments. So that on a daily basis does exhaust me a bit, but every day is different. So it can be exhausted and then energy, you know? You never really know. Um, how do you feel after you faint? So I wake up and it's, like I said, it's almost like I've teleported in time, like I've time traveled. I say that because it literally feels like no time has passed. Like obviously, it is obvious that time has passed, but it doesn't feel like it. It's a really weird feeling. Um, and I feel very groggy, like I feel very tired, exhausted, uh, I feel lightheaded, and I feel like I can't breathe properly when I first wake up or come to. I feel like I can't really breathe that easy. Um, this one's very similar to the one that I've just read out, is how does it feel to faint? So... For me, um, at the very start, this is when I get like a long warning that I can sit down and actually prepare myself. Um, <laughs> I get very, very, very tired to the point that I could nearly fall asleep. And then I start feeling like I'm dreaming, you know, that real floaty sensation. And then I start losing my eyesight. So it goes pitch black and it's almost like you're staring at a starry night sky. Starry night sky. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so there's like little specks of light that are kind of sparkling through and they come and they go. You know, they kind of twinkle. Um, it sounds peaceful, but it's not. <laughs> can tell you it's not peaceful. Um... So I get that and then I start losing my hearing. It's almost like I've put earmuffs on. Oh, there's like bubbles around my ears. Um, so it gets quite muffled. So that's why I usually don't respond. <laughs> and then I lose all feeling in my body and then I wake up and it's kind of like, oh, that was weird. Can tell you the first time it happened, it wasn't a nice feeling. It was actually kind of 
quite scary. Um, but yeah. Have you got low blood pressure? A lot of people who have POTS do have low blood pressures, but it's not, I find that it's not the problem because I can get my blood pressure under control. So just by having salt, you know, three teaspoons of salt a day and drinking four liters a day. Um, so I don't need to be on any medication for it, so I can get it under control, but my heart rate does still speed up over 200 when my blood pressure is under control. So it isn't the blood pressure that is causing it, I think. Um, but people do pass out because of low blood pressure, like my gran. Um, so yeah. How can you tell when you're about to faint? So like I said before, um, I feel very tired and weak. I don't think I said weak. But I do feel weak and I feel lightheaded, like I'm just floating. That's usually my major warning signs. <laughs> I love this question. Have any funny situations happened? Definitely, 100%. Um, I've woken up to my parents cracking up with laughter and so like I asked them what's happened and <laughs> some of the situations I'm kind of like, oh my gosh. I could definitely do some story times if you want them, just um, just comment down below if you want a story time. I get this question a lot with um, people that I know and people online, and it's, would a pacemaker help? <laughs> um, this is a very good question. I've never heard of it helping somebody with POTS or IST. I have searched up online, you can correct me if I'm wrong, you know, but I don't think there's been any research done on that. So I would say no, and besides, pacemakers are very terrifying things to me um, because I think of it as you've got like a life-threatening problem rather than an annoying problem, painful problem, you know, fainting. So I don't think I would ever get a pacemaker for this, but I feel like I'm too young. <laughs> don't know if you guys would agree, but yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> can you drive? No. Some people with POTS can drive because it's only when they stand up that they get lightheaded. But if I got a fright, like if someone came up next to me and like tooted their horn or something when I wasn't expecting it, I would pass out and probably crash into the person in front of me. So, no I can't. <laughs> How long did it take to get a diagnosis? I was one of the very lucky people. I got diagnosed within a year of fainting. I know that a lot of people it takes about 10 years to get diagnosed with this, with this disorder. Um, so I am very thankful for it. And that's why I'm trying to get the word out there a little bit more about POTS and IST. Because the only reason why I got diagnosed with it is because I saw another girl online that, how do I say it? Um, her faints were very similar to mine. And so that's the only reason why I found my condition. Otherwise, I would have just believed the first cardiologist that I went to, who said that there's absolutely nothing wrong with my heart. Um, so yeah, definitely do your research on things because it does help a lot. Do you dream while you're passed out? I love this question. <laughs> so cute um no i don't think so <laughs> i don't remember dreaming i don't think you can dream but i, I love that question <laughs> is this related to epilepsy now that's a very good question no it's not it's not related uh but it is to do with your nervous system and the way that the messages travel travel and things like that but um, it's quite different because it affects my heart rate not it, I don't have a seizure I just 
my heart rate gets too high and then the blood doesn't get to my head and then doesn't get the oxygen that it needs so it just tries to get everything sorted before anything major happens so no it's not do you remember the first time you fainted yes i do um i was actually at my grand's because my granddad was in hospital i stood up because i'd been kind of laying down and i'd stood up i walked around both gran and mum were there and I just remember seeing like pitch black with stars and I'm kind of like what is going on like I don't feel good I feel weak this is not normal anyways I wake up and apparently my mum thought that I was pranking her which makes sense because when I was little I was quite cheeky and I did like to fake pass out just to see what my parents would do. So, um, yeah, so she thought that I was pranking her and she didn't do anything for like the first minute because she just thought I was being silly. And then she realized that I wasn't getting up. So she rushed over and everything like that. So I do remember my first time passing out and it was weird. Um, but yeah, I hope that answered all of your questions about POTS and IST. I will be hopefully getting a diagnosis of EDS soon, so um, stay tuned for the updates and everything. But if there's anything else that you guys want me to try out or make a video on, I definitely can do that. You just need to let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe because that would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah!